So I thought I'd show you guys a pamphlet I found. Um, I mentioned this back in a video uh, a while back. Uh, I got this with my 115 from 1917. And I talk about the number here on the front of this page. It says 128. So I'm thinking $128 is what they paid for this machine, this 115 that I have way back in the day. And uh, I really like to find these old ads. I don't really see too much stuff on this. And when I try to look up for specific machines and stuff to see what the vintage ads were, I don't really see too much. So I took a bunch of photos of this for you guys. So you can take a walk through this booklet with me. And uh, if you want to pause it at any time and read up on here, your machine might be in here. I know that uh, this is my machine, the 115. Um, I also seen in here, there's a 128-4 right there, but that's a hand crank. So, uh, that's pretty cool. This machine I found interesting. This is, uh, a, a 192 or sorry, a 24-61 automatic tension. That's pretty cool. It's a chain stitch machine right there. So maybe you guys can date this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I know that, uh. I see these machines on the market a lot right here. Maybe someone will find that interesting. That's a 29-4. That might be your grandmother or your great-grandmother. If you guys know, you'll see in the photos. I took pictures of this because, unfortunately, when I'm recording on video, it doesn't come out as well as I'd like. There's a 128-3. Um, this here talks about uh, this portable here being the lightest on the market. That was pretty cool. Look at that. There's a bent wood case. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. So there you go. And uh, I watch Bob Fowler's channel. I, he is very good with uh, Singer sewing machines and servicing them and very, really detailed videos and very educational. So uh, I thought he might find this interesting if he ever watches my channel. Um, this is 101 2. Here's a 101 ad. And the cabinet and I recently seen one of these come up on the market close to me and I just don't have the money to buy it right now it's not extremely expensive but uh, because I've been watching his channel this machine here has a removable bed and it has what's called the spider oiler I do believe don't hold me to that I'm not an expert but uh, yeah I watch his videos and I've seen this machine on there it's sort of why he gave me the bug on this machine uh, I seen it come up on the market uh, close to me and uh, I'm a little sad right now because I can't get it. But anyways, <laughs> that's okay. Not that I don't have enough machines. Hey, I got this also here. I got this uh, buttonholer uh, little ad. Maybe you guys are interested in that. This looks vintage. I don't know what era that's from. You guys take a peek at that maybe too. Anyways, thought I'd go a little different direction instead of getting into a sewing machine because I do have many to show you. But I uh, found this interesting too. Maybe you guys are... Uh, vintage uh, singer geeks like me I don't know I just uh, geek out on stuff like this <laughs> anyways enjoy the pictures leave a comment tell a friend stay safe <laughs> <laughs>